Hello, my name is Airedes Kristukas, and in this video I will show you Elementor Footer Future, which one works with Free Astra Team. By using this, you can create amazing footers for your websites and don't need to depend from the team settings. In this video, you will learn how to replace boring default Astra footer like this to the one amazing like this. And if you're gonna go to the website to the tutorials to the custom made footer, you will find all required files which one you will be able to download. As you are seeing, this footer is made by default Astra Trim free version. It's good footer and you can display all required information. But if we would look from design perspective, it's not brilliant and it looks kind of boring standard footer which one has been made with free team. And then if we're gonna go, it's just simple the footer. And if we're gonna go another one, that's it, the footer pre-made by Elementor. So I wanna show you how to make that kind of footer by Elementor and install on the website. So what we have to do at the beginning, we have to go to code. I have to have to go to the our WordPress website and log in to our dashboard. After you logged in, you have to go to the plugin and then add new one and then search for the plugins. Elementor header and should come up. Elementor header footer blocks and install now and activate. And if you're gonna go to appearance and you have a section header footer builder. And at the moment we don't have any footer or builder. So we are gonna press add new and then an option. Elementor header footer option type of template. And we have a select footer. You can select header before footer, footer or custom block. But at this time we're gonna look at the footer. Display on, select on which pages you can select like entire website or on only some pages. You have a lot of option. I gonna pick entire website, user roles, and then you as well if you have like logged in, logged out, administrator, edit, editor, author or other one. So I just gonna be push press on all. I've done that. I gonna just write the title. So that's gonna be my footer and I gonna edit with Elementor. And as you can see, we have empty ones. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go there, this website. I already gonna show you as well. If I gonna go to the footer menu, I'm gonna press on three dots and save as template. Gonna write footer, let's say one, save and footer one, I gonna go and export. I have save file. Okay, and then gonna go to my website, just add template, my templates, import template, select file, element, open. You will be able to download this file from my website. And we can see footer one and insert, voila, and we have a, have a footer. I just gonna press publish and have a look. It looks brilliant. We're going back to our dashboard and visit site, going to our site. And we are seeing pre-made footer as this. So let's edit a bit. As we can see, it doesn't showing symbols like here. So we can press and then the symbol appear all of them. If you press one. So I don't need to Google. I don't need TripAdvisor. I don't need the yep, but I need Twitter and Facebook page. I'm going to go insert links. My Facebook link, link and Twitter link and update. I have a Facebook, Twitter, what else I can add? Add item, icon library, and I can search for YouTube. I definitely YouTube, insert, and I need to find the link. And I found the link. So I have Facebook, Twitter, added item. I planning as well to make an Instagram. So icon library, Instagram, insert, and I still haven't made it. So I still don't have a link and update. Let's go express on three dots style. I don't really like this image. I have one or two replace. I just going to free pixel bay images and gonna type. And I like kind of this image, save insert, at the moment it's downloading, and as you can see it's there. I don't really like reserve table, just gonna go. You can press and do the link, reserve table, contact us. Okay, contact us, and we need to find the link. I gonna update. Exit the dashboard. Now visit site. Contact me, gonna copy this one, gonna go back 
to the footer menu, gonna press this and I just have to paste my link, update here, yeah, I as well gonna change to contact me this text you can leave it or you can delete it I, you can write something you can add in this in here in here text this symbol i choose image i gonna pick let's say this kind of image i'm gonna scrap it date and i go to this will call us i'm gonna delete it date i'll just change this contact me update exit to the dashboard go visit site and we can scroll in down and as we can see our kind of the footer what we like what we don't like tutorials are gonna go i'm gonna go and edit it a bit options style background overlay opacity i think it's too dark a bit i gonna reduce like this and gonna update and file I'm gonna exit to the dashboard visit site and as you can see contact me the footer this kind of look looks kind of shape quiet awkward so let's edit that shape as well position default and preview it doesn't look very good what we can do the style center update yep i like much more and that them now play with the divider go shape divider at the moment we have a triangle we can check the none mountains drops you have clouds you have zigzags you have pyramids I'm gonna leave waves update and refresh and let's have a look how it looks our site and it's look kind of brilliant i would say it's only we have a kind of pinkish theme so i would like to keep pink this one button might be as well so I'm gonna go again and adjust the color of button you did style contact me actually you can copy the the code update exit the dashboard visit site i'm gonna be kind of this color so how to do it edit the elementor go press on a button ctrl z because i deleted accidentally go to the style background color hoover copy code i copied code i'm gonna go exit leave page visit site footer edit style and i copied update we can make a bit border and update again preview and if we're gonna go to the dashboard visit site we could see our contact and if we're gonna go to our tutorials page you can see it looks like this we have created a footer as a this and if we're gonna look at this we still have another section like copyrights and pirate how we're gonna copy this one to our this one so we're gonna go there gonna click on those three buttons and save as template and we're gonna call footer 2 we're gonna save it and then footer 2 we're gonna export and save it okay we've done it so now we're going to our page our footer menu we're gonna press add template my templates and upload select file and we're gonna pick the la latest one and insert and we can see is this we can copy power it power it if you can see it's it have a text copyright current year and site title you can adjust if you want you can insert the link you can then change the color change the typography actually same you have an option to play with this one then adjust the text if you're gonna go to advanced if you're gonna go press this we have a style color we can do a bit let's say transparent and i'm gonna update i'm gonna go to this one advanced top I'm gonna go zero. I'm gonna go bring even up to here. Now those colors I need to just clear white and I'm gonna do this same content color clear white update and last thing the footer actually it look very nice on a normal website but if I'm gonna make a bit smaller you're gonna go and see 
that it disappeared actually so i'm gonna go back to the footer and then i'm gonna pick the tablet view and you can see you can't see it anymore you have to adjust gem, just margins yeah you just go increase to the upper until you're gonna see and you have it style layouts you can stretch okay i'm gonna leave it like this so on a tablet view as you see it looks like nice and let's we have a look on the mobile as you can see and the mobile is looking quite all right maybe just a little bit that top things shape divider i just adjust a bit with and just a bit yeah looks cool so if you're gonna go to the tablet view it i adjusted this one accidentally gonna go advanced style shape divider and gonna be none and on the desktop mode the same so we can see desktop tablet and mobile design it's all look good i am iredas kristukas thanks for watching this if you enjoy this content feel free to subscribe below and press notification bell as if you will watch my videos it will help you to create amazing website. Thank you and bye bye.